Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today I want to talk about thermometers. Thermometers are hard to hold up. Therm you can see these, these are all thermometers. I want to talk about the difference between thermometers and how to know if your thermometer is broken, possibly finding a new thermometer or how to choose a thermometer in the first place. When I started charting, I started charting with this thermometer. It's pink. It, I got it from Target. And this was my thermometer that I used for years and years. And it worked really well until recently. And then I started doing research and I found out that this thermometer is kind of notorious for choosing temperatures. I don't even know if that's a thing, but that's what people said. It got to a point where I had one of two temperatures every single morning. I knew that I had much more of a variety in temperatures. You can have two or three days of the same temperature in a row and I don't think much of it, but when it's, it was two weeks of one of two temperatures and I'm like, God, this is just not seem right. And so I started looking into it. And I was like, I'm just gonna get a new thermometer. If you're new to choosing a thermometer and you wanna start charting, there are awesome thermometers out there. You know, technology is an amazing thing and we've come a long way but you don't have to spend a ton of money. You can go to your local drugstore or a store like Target, Walmart, something like that, and pick up a thermometer for under $10. That will be perfect. The one thing that I always tell people when they're trying, when they're first choosing a thermometer is you want it to be labeled as a basal thermometer or a basal body thermometer. Basal thermometers are more accurate. If any of you out there chart, you know that your temperature to like the 10th of a degree matters. And so you don't want something that isn't as sensitive or accurate. So these are actually two thermometers that I pulled out of our like med medicine cabinet. And these are just generic normal thermometers when you think you might have a fever or something and you don't wanna use any old thermometer to chart. This is my Daisy. I've had, I've used it for a year now, I wanna say, and I love it. I think it's great. I love that this option is out there and a lot of people love the Daisy and I love the Daisy and there are other other nice thermometers like this as well. But if you're like, I can't afford that, does that mean I can't chart? Of course you can chart. This one is, I think it was eight or $9 from Target. And then this is the one I actually got just last week. It was $8 from Walmart. And I've been using it for about a week now. I am back to having a range of temperatures from my, you know, two temperature scenario that I had with this one. So what I'm saying here is most people can afford an $8, $10 um, thermometer. And so don't let the price of a thermometer stop you or think you need a fancier one than you actually need. Get yourself a drugstore thermometer. Just make sure it is a basal thermometer. People always ask me suggestions for what type of thermometer they should get. My biggest stipulation when choosing a basal thermometer is the beep when you're done taking your temperature. I don't have it with me right now, but I have a basal thermometer that it would just like shock your soul out of slumber and it was too loud and too just obnoxious for the morning time. Let's do an example real quick. You hear how like chill that was? It doesn't have to be fancy. If you're new to charting, look up a diagram on the internet or somewhere of like where you're supposed to take your temperature in your mouth. You wanna find your, what it's called, your hot pocket. What's this thing called? I don't know if you're talking. Anyways, you wanna choose one side of that, I always go to this, the right side, tuck it in that pocket. Keep it consistently in that same spot every single time I take my temperature. Consistency is key with the fertility awareness method and anytime you're taking your te temperature, regardless of what method it is actually. Uh, yeah, I get a lot of questions all the time about what, what thermometer to choose. You can go on Amazon or you can order them online. Just make sure they are a basal thermometer and it doesn't have to be expensive. They start out at like a couple dollars, like $8 and they can go all the way up to a couple hundred dollars. All right guys, that is what I have to say about thermometers right now. This is the current one I'm using, the Rely On and I'm pretty happy with it so far. I haven't had any issues. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.